Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about subtracting integers using algebra tiles. Let us take note of the following. One green square is equal to 1 and one red square is equal to negative 1. If we have a pair of one green square and one red square, that is equivalent to zero. Or we call this one as a zero pair. Let's have this example. If we have 5 minus 2 is equal to blank, 5 here is represented by 5 green squares. Subtracted by 2 green squares, what is left is 3 green squares. I want to introduce the zero pair in subtracting integers. Let's have this one again. 5 is represented by 5 green squares and we have 2 here. We'll have 2 zero pairs of 1 green and 1 red square. So let's have 2 sets of that. That's 1 and 2. Since our subtrahend is a positive 2, it means we'll remove 2 green squares. And this one is not yet simplified because we still have two red squares. So let's have or let's find a zero pair. This is one zero pair and another zero pair. What is left is three green squares. That is how are we going to use a zero pair in subtracting integers. Let's have another one. What if we have negative one minus 3 is equal to blank. Take note that the subtrahend here is a positive 3. Okay, negative 1 is represented by 1 red square. We can introduce a 0 pair in this case. We'll have 3 sets of 0 pair. That's 1, 2, and then 3. Since 3 here is a positive 3, we will remove 3 green squares. And what is left is 4 red squares. Our answer is negative 4. Okay, let's have another one. What if we have 3 minus negative 4? 3 here is a positive 3, so it means it is represented by 3 green squares. And our subtrahend is negative 4. It also signifies how many zero pairs we'll have. So that's 1, 2, 3, and 4. Since our subtrahend is a negative 4, we'll remove 4 red squares. And the result is positive 7 or 7 green squares. So it's easy, right? Okay, let's have another one. What if we have here 5 minus negative 6? 5 is represented by 5 green squares. And our subtrahend is telling us how many zero pairs will we use since we have here 6 we'll be using six zero pairs. And that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And our subtrahend is a negative, so it means we'll get six red squares. And the result is 11 green squares or positive 11. And that's our final answer. Let's have another one. We have here negative four minus negative three. Negative 4 is represented by 4 red squares and our subtrahend is telling us how many zero pairs we'll be using and we have here 3 so that will be 3 sets of zero pairs. That's 1, 2, 3. And our subtrahend is a negative 3. It means we'll be getting 3 red squares. But this is not yet the final answer because we still have zero pairs there so we'll just have to pair them up and we found three zero pairs we have to remove them in order to have the final answer which happens to be one one red square or negative one okay let's have the last one negative two minus five is equal to blank negative two is represented by two red squares while our subtrahend is telling us how many zero pairs will we use, we'll have 5. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Since our subtrahend is a positive, so let's remove 5 green squares. The result is 7 
red squares. And that is our final answer. It's easy, right? Okay, now it is your time to solve. Please write your answer in the comment section. The question is, which of the following is the value of n? n is equal to negative 7 subtracted by 6. Is it a 1, b negative 1, c 13, or d negative 30? I'll be waiting for your answer. Thank you! Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!